Hi there, I am participating this month in a Halloween uh, blog hop and so I want to show you um, what I'm going to be making today is a card and what I have here is a piece of cardstock that was already I already pre-cut which is six inches by eight inches and then folded in half for my card base. Then I have a file that I will share with you that I have cut that says Happy Halloween with a spider in the O. And we're going to attach that to the front panel using um, my Xyron. And so I'll just bring that in to the frame so you can see it. And I'm just gonna send that through the machine and let it get all sticky. Sorry for my arm reaching over the back there. I'm left-handed and that kind of always happens to me. So I have covered the piece on the back. I'm just going to rub it down a little bit to make sure the adhesive is sticking. And then I'm going to peel that apart. And take the piece off. And I'm doing this gently just because that spider on there is really small detailed. Alright, so I have my card piece here. You see, sorry, my lights are not in the best spots here. Okay, that's a little better. And then I'm just going to place it on my card base. And I have a little bit of a border all the way around, so I want to try to make that as even as possible. And I'm just checking the bottom. Yeah, that's looking pretty good to me. Alright, so now I have that down in place. And if you have any extra adhesive, you can, you can definitely clean that up. Then I'm going to take the center pieces of the letters. I have them cut out here off, and I'm going to take them and place them where they need to be um, in the piece. And I'm just looking here. I didn't grab my pickup and I'm just looking to see where that went. Okay. And I'm not seeing it so um, goodness. Alright. We'll just go by hand and see if maybe I can do it with, a, with an exacto knife. Alright, so I'm just going to use a little bit of adhesive in the areas that need those pieces of paper set into. So that's the center of the A here, this P, and this one also. Alright, so all I need to do is pick up my piece and place it where I want it. Now this adhesive will dry clear, so I'm not too worried if there's any excess on the piece. Okay, and then we just need the center of the A down below and the two E's and it really doesn't need a lot of adhesive there all right so just working backwards I'm gonna start with the E's So that looks good. I'm just going to set it off to the side to dry. Now, the fun part is that I also cut out this spider web, and it's it's kind of hard to see because I've cut it out of overhead projecting film, 
and it's um, very flimsy, very lightweight. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint it with this Deco Art Glow in the Dark. So I'm just going to give this a shake and I'm just going to work right out of the cap. Just drop a little bit in there. And then with a small paintbrush, I am going to go over this and let it dry. So what I'm attempting here is to have a piece that glows in the dark, is transparent, like a spider web would be, um, but something that will kind of show up on the face of the card as well. So it may take two coats of paint to make that happen, but we'll give it a go and see. And then what I'm going to do is just cut down the parts um, once I place it on there to see how much of the web I want to use. And this cut file, I will also share the SVG for this. All right, so there's the single coverage of the glow in the dark. And I'm going to lift this up off my mat and just clean up that excess paint there. And then I'm going to hit this um, with a heat gun to dry it quickly, and then I'll be right back. All right, my spider web is now dry, and so I'm going to glue it onto my card. I'm just going to turn it upside down, and I'm just going to touch it with some glue in just a few areas just so it'll tack itself to the card. Okay, I think that is probably enough. I originally thought that I would cut this down in size to um, place on my card, but I actually like the whole thing placed in the corner. So what I'm gonna do is actually run the outside of the web on the white part of the card. I can get it to stay put, okay? And then it will overlap. Goodness me, I feel like I'm all thumbs today. All right, so now I'm gonna touch that down. And let that dry, but that is our card and I will show you how um, this piece glows in the dark. I'm going to place it inside a box um, and close the box and then um, put my camera on top of it so you can see how the piece actually glows in the dark. So I have, you know, the sheerness of the web, which I wanted. I have the detail of the spider here. And um, then, like I said, as we turn the lights off, and I can give you just a bit of a sense here, if I turn some of the lights off, you can kind of see here that, if I cover things up maybe a little bit, um, and the picture in the box is, is really so much better, but um, let me see what I've got here that I can kind of block things off. Bring it up maybe closer and block things off. Hopefully you get a sense that it does glow in the dark and hopefully you can see that. So yeah, it is glowing even with my overhead lights on and so is my, um, my bottle of paint. I don't know if you can see it has a greenish cast to it. So there we go, finished card.